So now for GMDSS, Radio Maintainer's License, DM. This is part of FCC's Commercial Radio Operator Types of Licenses. You can find information here and you can find information online. The DM qualifies personnel as GMDSS radio maintainers to perform at sea repair and maintenance of GMDSS equipment. It also confers the operating authority of the PG and MP licenses. In instances where an applicant qualifies for both a DO and a DM, the applicant qualifies to hold a GMDSS radio operator maintainer's license abbreviated DB. To qualify like several other licenses that we have talked about, you must be a legal resident or otherwise eligible for employment in the United States and be able to receive and transmit spoken messages in English and pass a written or telegraphy sometimes both, as described online and in this video. The DM license is issued for a term of the entire holder's lifetime. Now, prior to March 25, 2008, the license term for a DM was five years. Any holder of a DM that expired prior to the 25th of March in 2008 was required to file an application to renew the license within the five-year grace period after expiration. If you want to obtain this license, you'll need to submit Form FCC 605, um, and if you need help on that, you can find a video on that in the playlist. You'll do that through electronic filing in the ULS along with the appropriate proof of passing certificates um, for the requisite written examination elements. Please file um, in ULS to renew a license or to replace a lost, stolen, or mutilated license. And keep in mind that many commercial operator license exam managers abbreviated columns, file these documents for applicants who test with them, but not all of them do. So ask your column if it provides this service to its customers. And if not, you'll just have to take your certificate and add it to your filing yourself. To obtain an FCC commercial operator license, applicants must submit to the commission proof of passing of the elements listed. Starting out with element one. That includes basic radio law and operating practice which every maritime radio operator should be familiar. To pass, an examinee must correctly answer at least 18 of the 24 questions. If you're interested in studying for this element, you should definitely take a look at our video in which we take the entire pool of fair game questions from the FCC in element one and we read through them. It's really an excellent way to practice while uh, driving or doing chores around the house or anything else for that matter. A nice easy read of the entire question pool. Element three is general radio telephone. Electronic fundamentals and techniques required to adjust, repair, and maintain radio transmitters and receivers. The exam consists of questions from the following categories. Operating procedures, radio wave propagation, radio practice, electrical principles, circuit components, practical circuits, signals and emissions, and antennas and feed lines. To pass, an examinee must correctly answer at least 57 of 76 questions for this element. You'll also need element 9, GMDSS radio maintenance, practice and procedures. Requirements set forth in IMO assembly on training for radio personnel, that's GMDSS, Annex 5, and IMO assembly on radio maintenance guidelines for the global maritime distress and safety system related to sea areas A3 and A4. The exam consists of questions from the following categories. 
radio systems theory, amplifiers, power sources, troubleshooting, digital theory, and GMDSS equipment and regulations. To pass, an examinee must correctly answer at least 38 of 50 questions from element 9. Pool. Cool.